Welcome back to my channel for another collective reading. Today we're going to be tapping into love life this weekend. What can you expect in your love life this weekend? I love doing these. I love doing these love readings. Um, so if you are liking them, be sure to interact. Be sure to like, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. Uh, otherwise, let's get into the reading. As always, if you're interested in a more personalized reading from me, be sure to check out the link in my description box and be sure to follow me on Instagram. I know next week I'll probably be releasing some kind of special over there for like uh, readings. Um, I just don't know which day. Been kind of hectic for me over here. Super busy. So let's get into it. What's going on? for you this weekend. The song I got on shuffle was Better Believe by The Weeknd. It's like, um, ever since I've been single, my side chick wanna be main chick, dodge her call like the Matrix. I love that line. <laughs> Steady on top, better believe. They keep praying I'm a fall, y'all better believe. Um, I feel like you're gonna be feeling yourself this weekend. I feel like you're also going to be presented with a couple options. I feel like this weekend, people could be pursuing you. There could be some people pursuing you. Like you might get a lot of attention this weekend. City on top, but I believe. You're gonna be feeling good about yourself. Let's just stay that. All right, we have gratitude. Appreciate present blessings. This just makes me think of abundance. You're gonna be feeling really grateful this weekend you're gonna be feeling really abundant and I actually think that has to do with the fact that like I don't know if you guys are getting dressed up you're going out looking good but I feel like you're gonna be getting a lot of attention a lot of attention so make plans this weekend get dressed up get get call up your friends or maybe go sit at a bar by yourself and I guarantee you you're gonna have people either looking at you, telling you you look good. You're gonna be feeling good about yourself. Let's get two more. We have trust, um, faith in the power of the universe. Let's get one more. Joy, your inner child is here to play. So it feels like a very playful weekend. I do feel like I, I don't necessarily know if any of the options that come, look, you have action too. Awaken the warrior woman within. Ignore the gender stuff. Um, whether you're male or female, it looks like you're taking action towards something. It's like, I want it, I got it. I do feel like even though you have a lot of options, none of them are going to be, it's kind of more of like a flirtation. I don't see you maybe like, oh my gosh, I'm meeting my next um, wife or husband this weekend. But I see you having fun all right i see this being like a little fun weekend for you let's go let's get to three of the moonology cards what's going down in your love life this weekend a time for healing yeah so you could be in a healing phase we have a win-win outcome is forecast the full moon in libra some of you are being released from a contract i'm hearing that's like kind of not love related but there might be a cause for celebration because of that you're released from a contract or metaphorically, you're released from something. You're released from like a partnership, a contract. It's like ever since I've been single. So some of you are like newly single and you're still in that like healing period um, or like finding that balance after something. We have emotions are running high. Okay, the super moon. Um, and nothing will come of this situation. So this is kind of what I'm saying as to like, I think this is gonna be a fun weekend, but like I said, I don't see you meeting your, your, your future here. Maybe, maybe, but emotions are running high. You could have recently like had some kind of release. You could be recently single. You're still going through a healing phase, but I do feel like this is kind of that turning point where you're like, oh, okay, I got options. Like I'm, I'm a hot commodity. I'm hot, hot, hot. So let's see what we got with the tarot. Emotions are running high. That's interesting to me. 
Um, people could be like fired up about you, honestly. What's happening in your love life this weekend? What's going down in your love life this weekend? We have the strength card, so Leo energy here. So this is kind of like all eyes on you, yeah? Um, but I do feel like you're gonna be picking up your strength again. Like I said, if you've recently disconnected from something, and like I said, it doesn't have to be a relationship, but Libra is the sign of partnerships. Um, it could be that you like had some kind of settlement or you got out of a contract or you got out of some like time period where things have been like a little bit difficult. We have the five of wands. Um, so this strength card here makes me think that it's like, like this is you picking back up, like starting to feel good about yourself. I feel like the five of wands is always like competition. So like I said, this could be like, um, you know, people fighting for your attention. What's happening this weekend for you? There could be some conflict here. With the emotions running high, there could actually be some kind of conflict that shows up. We have the judgment, the awakening here. Um, what is this conflict? What is this emotions running high that I'm picking up on? The king of crystals. Mm. I feel like there's somebody in your sphere, uh, earth sign energy, who is... <laughs> this I don't think this is you it could be you if you're like me and you're somebody who I got that Capricorn moon y'all okay so my emotions are repressed um but when I have like a drink or two and I get in my feels it's like waterworks okay it's like I'm the girl crying at the bar I'm like Camila Cabello like crying at the club okay so some of you <laughs> maybe monitor yourself because don't be that don't be that person crying at the club right um but i do feel like there's actually i feel like this is somebody else's energy who's like going to be somebody who's like keeps their feelings close to the chest having some kind of emotional outburst and it could cause some kind of conflict some kind of argument like emotions running high with the judgment the awakening card like there are this person who um, hasn't necessarily been super emotional around you, I feel like their their feelings are going to be triggered. Their emotionals, their emotionals, their they're gonna their emotions are gonna be awakened. Um, why, 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 why? The six of swords. Oh yeah, I feel like oh, if you guys re did recently just leave some situation or like I feel like this person is gonna have an emotional outburst because they're like feeling like you are moving on. You either ghosted somebody or like feeling like you're moving on. Or, um, take it how it resonates because this could be vice versa. If it is vice versa, hold yourself back, okay? Because there might be, what's gonna trigger this? What's gonna trigger this? The moon card yeah um the eight of wands and the devil card mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay i don't think that this is you i think if you've been moving on if you've been sort of in this energy where you're like you've left a situation um you're moving forward i feel like there's somebody here who is going to be triggered by the fact that you are moving on. Um, this person does not want you to move on. I feel like they've concealed their deeper feelings, but they have like this strong attachment to you. Uh, and I do feel like this is triggering them to come in with some kind of emotional confession. But I do feel like since it is coming from a triggered place, a place of like subconscious fears and, um, that deeper emotions, I feel like it's gonna be dramatic. Like, I feel like it could be dramatic. It could be like a lot, like emotional dumping. Um, it could call you crying, could like, you know, start, it could start an argument. Just be aware of that. Um, so what can you expect in your love life this weekend? The temperance card. Yeah, see, this is like healing for you. Like I see you more on the healing side. Like you're going to have um, 
what what what's triggering this healing for you this weekend what's triggering this healing for you the three of pentacles yeah i feel like you've been working on yourself and some people are going to take notice we have the four of crystals the seven of cups the perspective and the ten of crystals um There's a song that's coming into my head because I feel like you're, I feel like since you are so closed off or guarded this weekend, there's some people who are projecting like fantasies on you. Um, and this is to me more somebody seeing you in a different light. I feel like there's people, I feel like you might be around people that you already know. And it's sort of this feeling of like, oh, I didn't realize how like beautiful or ethereal so-and-so was like wow I never realized how attractive so-and-so was um, and then like with the ten of pentacles and there's this like mysterious vibe right because you are kind of closed off and guarded to anything but people are like here it's like side chick wannabe main chick like people are could be offering you or like kind of pursuing you in the f in the sense of like wanting to be like your person I feel like this is like somebody's somebody's changing their perspectives on you or changing your perspective on you like oh I could see myself in the, like with the for the for the long term with so and so um and I do think that this is because there's been some kind of like either work that you've been doing on yourself or like you know, um, this like rebuilding effect that you've had. So this is kind of the, the energy that I see you in. Um, let's see. What, what is this? What is this a win-win outcome is forecast? Five of Cups. I do feel like, ooh, Five of Crystals, wow. Okay, so fives. What's this win one forecast is outcome? The seven of I do feel like if there is anything that is like I I th I see you moving on from feeling like left out in the cold. I see you moving on from feeling any like lingering thoughts in the past. Like I see you kind of pushing through that. Like I said, this is going to be the week for you that things start to turn around. And I feel like things start to turn around because of this attention that you're getting or somebody in specific who is having a change in perspective from you. I think that this person is very different from this person. Uh, the sun card here. I do think it's going to be a great weekend. Happy, lots of fun. And then the queen of wands here. I do see somebody though coming forward. Tell me more about this person. The person who's having like a breakdown. <laughs> the lovers card. Gemini energy. The eight of pentacles. So it could start off as an argument, but I actually see it leading to some healing too. Um, so the Eight of Crystals, this could be, and then the Knight of Swords, this could be some kind of communication coming in. This could be somebody trying to put an effort in towards communicating. Um, what is this person, what actions is this person taking towards you? Knight of Wands, yeah. The Two of Swords. Two of Cups. The World card and the Queen of Swords. So yeah, it feels like there's some kind of clarity here. Um, if there's been like some kind of blockage here, I feel like there could be, this is like what triggers and opens communication is this energy, but I see it more leading to like some kind of closure here and it could be like a reconciliation that happens but I do feel like it is starts off with an argument why does this person come forward towards you why does this person come forward towards you um two of wands here so I feel like this person comes forward towards you because there's like they kind of can't hold back anymore they, inv they, they feel like they invested in this. There's like an investment in this. Um, so like I said with the partnership here, it doesn't even have to be 
romantic. Um, so take it how it resonates. Some of you, this is like somebody who's like, I invested in this. Like I, <laughs> where's my return on investment? Um, or somebody who's feeling like a little bit of mental conflict. They're like, they invested in this. It's like that Halsey song, the without me, the one like, I think she wrote it about G-Eazy and it's like, Tell me how's it feel sitting up there, feeling so high, but to fall away to hold me, you know the, I'm the one that puts you up there. Because um, they're looking at you and they're, they're kind of seeing their worth and their value and they might be kicking themselves a little bit um, for like letting you go or not having taken action here because they do feel like they invested in this and like part of your worth is like... <laughs> Thanks to them. I don't know. This is just what I'm, I'm feeling. So it's triggering them to come forward. Like I said, triggers, triggers, triggers. But actions. Ace of Cups. Um, and the Page of Swords. And then the Three of Swords. I do feel like this person... This person is going to be triggered because they feel like you're moving on. That like you're moving to a new beginning. And they're kind of watching this. And it's like, why do you get to be happy? Um... And I'm here like hurt. So, I mean, shit, we've all been there. Um, sounds like fun. I hope that's not the viewer. Um, but I do feel like that's, that's essentially what's triggering this person um, to make an action, to make some kind of move here. So let's get some message cards from said person. And then... I am going to move into the extended. In the extended, I'll dive a little bit deeper into this. We'll pull some archetype cards. We'll pull from the sexual tarot. We'll pull from the message decks. And yeah, we'll see um, a little bit deeper into what's happening for you this weekend. So what does this person, this person with the emotional breakdown, what are they going to be communicating to you? You speak to me through music. What does this person want to communicate or what will they be triggered to communicate? I replay conversations over and over again. Mm, you came closer than anyone. Okay, two more please. I regret lying to you. I knew exactly what I was doing. Um, so yeah, I feel like I definitely feel like this is somebody who kind of fumbled, fumbled the bag. And now they're kind of, they're kind of, they've been trying to play it cool, I feel like, but that cover is going to be blown. What's happening for you in love this weekend? What's happening for you in love this weekend? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we have. I know I crossed the lot that line with you and I hid who I really am from you. You are the best thing in my life. So I do feel like this I hid who I really am from you is like these emotions that they kind of never got out. So in a way it is sort of a cathartic experience because I feel like they're going to be triggered to kind of reveal their like their emotions are going to show up like even if it's just for themselves, it's kind of triggering communication because I feel like until, um, like, like I'm saying, like your energy shifts, there's some kind of healing that happens for you this weekend that kind of triggers this feeling of like, oh, I could actually really lose this person. And there's this kind of emotional realization and it might be something that they contact you about or kind of have this like urgency to uh, get in touch with you. But also, you know, I see that you're just kind of continuing on. It could bring some kind of healing for you. And obviously you get to decide what you wanna do. Um, but I do feel like this is kind of this energy of somebody watching you or maybe you run into this person they see you out having a good time looking good feeling good uh and this is sort of this like 
that, that they're triggered into action type of thing. So that's what I'm seeing for you. Um, and then, like I said, there's this, I feel like there's this other person here too that's kind of like, or these are multiple people that are kind of like enamored by you. Um, some of these people are people that I feel like you're sort of reconnecting with and they're like, wow, I never noticed how like attractive so-and-so was type of energy. So that's what I'm seeing in the extended. We'll dive a little bit deeper. So if you're interested in that, I will see you over there.